Could Samson Dota be the next Ronnie King Coleman? Could anybody be the next Ronnie King Coleman? Let's face it, Ronnie has a following, the likes of which the bodybuilding world has never seen. People get upset at the mere mention of a pitcher comparison with this guy. I gotta say, Samson Dota, he has a very, very bright future indeed. And I've seen a couple of comparisons, namely Superset Man. If you guys uh, follow him on uh, YouTube, hello, Superset Man. Welcome back to my channel. You guys have to check his channel out if you haven't seen. Uh, he has a video comparison of the 1998 Ronnie King Coleman versus Samson Dota. And I have to say, Samson, structurally speaking, a couple of shots there. He, you know, more than holding his own against Ronnie King Coleman. But let's face it, guys. He is the king. They call him the king for a reason. So this is with all due respect to Samson, but let's go through the shots. And if Samson does good in this matchup, or even if he can get one shot, one or two shots against Coleman, he's going to be doing good for himself. And I guess you could say the same thing for any top pro bodybuilder. Samson, he does have that structure. Similar to Ronnie Coleman, Ronnie, he has a very long set of quads, and they were thick. So that makes them very dominant. His arms also were very long, and they were, as you can see, very stout, very thick, and very pointy as well. Some bicep peaks that you're just not going to see on every bodybuilder, on, on any bodybuilder, really, aside from maybe... Arnold Schwarzenegger, come on, get to the chopper. But yes, it's obvious, guys. Go to the next shot here, and Samson faring pretty well, I would say, in the front lot spread, and I can hear you Colmanites now. But Mark's Max, well, do Colmanites sound like that? But anyway, ha having said that, but Mark's Max Muscle... How dare you say that Samson is doing well in this shot when he is obviously losing on muscle separation, size, and condition? Well, yeah, yeah, I'd be inclined to believing that. But we gotta be respectful for our man, Samson Douda, one of my favorite, and I'm sure one of your guys' favorites as well. But I mean, King Coleman... Was, was he even known for the front lat spread? I'm sure he was. Turn to the side, and here's where Mark's Max Muscle disagrees with a good percentage of you guys. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Ronnie Coleman's losing this side chest, nor is he losing to pretty much any bodybuilder, as long as he's in his prime, like here in 1999. The thing of it is, I think his delt overshadows his pec. Now, he has so much gosh darn muscle thick striated muscle that yeah he's still overwhelming poor samson but structurally speaking or you know the the way the muscles are set up here i like a big man's chest to stick out but still he's so good here's the side tricep and this is where most bodybuilders they try to pick from the scraps of any weak shot and this one here is probably coleman's weakest it's just his midsection goes Floopy, this is tricep itself, not that pungent. Pungent? That's an aroma, isn't it? Well, man, anyway. The, this is probably Samson's best bet on getting a point on Coleman, is what I'm saying. And he's probably not even doing that. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe. Let's have a look at the back. And this is a back development Mountains on mountains. No wonder he has a cult following. No wonder he has his own religion, Ronnie Coleman. He has mountain peaks. It's probably Moses up there. But anyway, anyway, look at the negative body fat percentage of Coleman. Hamstrings, uh, glutes. Look at that, guys. Not even close. Samson has some, some good separation in his hamstrings. You can see that. But you gotta be honest with yourself. Here's the rear double. Coleman, look at the arms from behind. Those are some big, thick, powerful arms. Definitely some big, thick, powerful arms. Goes all into one saying. Thick, powerful arms. Yeah, what can you say? Negative body fat. 
Sampson doing very well for himself in these back shots lately, as of late, improved. And, you know, he this is Coleman after his second Olympia win. So Sampson, he still has time. He's a young buck. Very young man. Very young man. So there is time not to beat Coleman, but maybe to be the next Ronnie King Coleman. Here's the abs and thigh. Of course, there's never going to be another Coleman. When God made him, he broke the mold. But he could make a he could create another one. We've seen Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then for years, people probably said, well, we're never going to see another Arnold. And then Coleman came along and, you know, kind of demolished that. This is another so-called weak shot for Coleman. And look at the condition from head to toe. Samson just does not stand a chance. He cannot even see to swing a punch. In this matchup. Maybe the side tricep. I wouldn't even give him this one. Here's the uh, most muscular. To finish this one off. And for those of you. Colmanites. At home. Right now. Just gleaming. Ear to ear. Salivating. At my every call on this. And my every compliment. On Ronnie Coleman. And my every seemingly put down. On Samson Douda. Which is not the case, guys. I know it sounds like I'm putting Samson Douda down here. But you could stack up anybody. Your Heidi Chupons, your Derek Lunsfordses, your Nick Walkerses as well. And they're all going to fail against King Coleman. And it's no different with our man, Samson Douda. But that's not to say that this guy does not deserve respect. Think about it. Ronnie King Coleman, he was placing ninth. Ninth at the Olympia the year before he won. I believe it was ninth. Sixth the year before that. What I'm saying is he was not the dominant force that he became. And Samson Douda still has time. Very exciting. So, yeah. Who's the winner of this one? We don't even need to say. We don't even need to say. It's a religion. The cult of the, uh, the, uh, Colmanites. Not the Dorianites. Did I call you guys Dorianites? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Colmanites. The Church of Dorianites was first, though, to be honest. You guys uh, respect that. Hit thumbs up. Love you guys. Have a great one.